when you have rotational grazing especially, whether it is high intensity, low frequency or not, just the fact that you're giving your places an area to rest um, allows just for an equal opportunity for all the plants to come back. And usually what happens with overgrazing is that the animals will come back to a plant over and over and over until it stunts its growth because it's kind of like they like to eat what's fresh, like we do. And so um, by moving them and not allowing them to regraze that plant, it's going to give every, every plant an opportunity to come back up, especially perennials, you know, because they um, last so much longer and have deeper root systems. With the schedule that Mariah set up, we would not return with cattle to the paddock that we started until like 60 or 90 days later. And that would, after that perennial plant has been bitten down, say to this height, it would allow it to grow up and the root system to, to regrow before we came back and, and bit it again. And so what, what we're doing is we're stimulating and pulsing the root system to, to, uh, to grow and then slough off and then grow and slough off. And so you're, you're increasing carbon that way. Um, but the, the reason the perennials are, are better at this is because they live for 20 or 30 years and you have a some long, deep root system and, and they, they are better at maintaining a healthy water cycle and a mineral cycle because of that root system. Grasses, if done properly, can be in a very effective way of just sucking CO2 out of the air and getting it in the ground in the form of the plant roots uh, for, for almost, for virtually ever. Because until somebody comes along and disturbs the soil, if nobody does that, then those, those deep-rooted plants will, will hold that CO2 in the ground for an indefinite period of time until there's some disturbance that comes along.